Dear fellow recruiters, Suman Pachigula here and in this video, we are going to understand about if you are a recruiter, how you are going to have a better conversation, better discussion with your candidate during your initial uh, pitch for a requirement. All right. And one more thing I would like to uh, check whether you got a, a chance to attend the free master class that has been organized uh, for bench sales and uh, for IT recruiters. If you have not, I'm leaving the link in the description. So don't forget to book your slot and and uh, meet me in the live interaction. All right. So that's what is to do with the live and now come back to the video and uh, let me share my examples and how I was doing and my success story over here. All right. So this is not bookish and I'm sure you're not going to find it anywhere because it's from my experience. And if you are a recruiter and you, if you really wanted to be successful, then just follow what I'm saying. Why? And you might be coming with some pre notions, right? The candidates might have do not have a time to talk or maybe they do not listen to us and uh, uh, they might be expecting, they might be aggressive, they don't talk to us politely, whatever the may be, you have your pre notions. So keep it aside and focus over here. So first, you, when you are going to uh, interact with your candidate, the first thing goes is you got to have a hundred percent clarity on what your client is looking for. Understood? Very good. And next is because this is where primary trouble comes in. So what is that going to happen is instead of you explaining what your client is looking for, you will be start reading the requirement. Okay. This is what generally how I used to do because uh, I had very less technical knowledge. I was not from because I'm not from a technical background. I studied BCom and uh, went into the recruiting industry and there when I see the uh, technical requirements and technical terms, it was very difficult for me to understand. And so instead of explaining what I used to do is I used to read the requirement to the candidate. So it's like, uh, hey, John, uh, we are having a requirement with our client. It's uh, seven plus years of experience. They are looking for uh, uh, Java and they are looking for this. They're looking. That's how I used to read it. So and again, I have I was just waiting when the candidate says, yeah, I'm comfortable with your requirement. All right. That's what the word I just wanted to hear. And I was thinking that, yes, this is what it is to do. And I go with my submission. So those trends are gone because now it is what is happening is there is a lot of expectation from the candidates, which recruiter they should choose to work with, right? Because anybody can read anything and information in front of them. Or you just can email. Even what I was doing is I was just sending an email to the candidates and asking, John, I have just sent you the job requirement. Why don't you just have a look at it and let me know if you're comfortable with it. You see, it was like inside fear that I had that what if the candidate is going to ask some other questions to me? What if uh, I could not able to answer and so on and so forth, right? So many things goes in the mind. So instead of doing everything, make sure that you put your authority cap and you got to tell the individual that why and what you have so that whether that is going to be uh, suitable to the candidate or not. That's what it is, right? So first thing is don't focus on the submission, but focus on what is that your client is looking for. Get the 100% clarity. All right. This is what the first thing. So once you get the 100% clarity, then identify what exactly the client wants the candidate to do meaning if you have a project scope do not ignore if you have go line by line because as a recruiter let me tell you 99 percent recruiters if i say they do not read requirement from top to the bottom forget about multiple times I used not to read the requirement from top to bottom because I was just scanning the requirement and as long as I find the keywords, I'm taking it with the job title and I was going with my sourcing, right? So that's old school method. You need to change that to a new school method. What is that? Read the requirement from top to the bottom and identify what exactly the client is looking for and what they want to achieve during that project all right so some requirement will have that information and some requirement doesn't have they only mention the responsibilities okay that's totally okay now one either way you got a full clarity now from here your primary interaction starts so three way that generally we do right one is we ask questions all right and uh, second goes on 
the candidate asks questions or third is we read a script now that is what the painful thing is so what i was doing is the company uh, gave a script and i need to follow the script with uh, the basic introduction and from there i get into qualifying meaning it's more of a interaction uh, interrogation i would say do you have this how many years do you have this how many years do you have this how many years it's like a collecting some data right so that's what we should not do well it is not working it is working because that's how people get submission but do you think if you continue doing the script as if you are reading a script how long it is going to be helpful for you to increase your career meaning if you are do if you are doing that is a junior recruiter or a mid level recruiter that's okay but if you want to be a team lead if you want to be a senior team lead and a manager and director so on and so forth don't you think you want to increase your uh, way of interaction as well that's what my point is because i whatever i'm sharing here i'm sharing with you by keeping the future in mind you might be thinking that when i call 5 minutes call i'm getting submission why i have to listen to your bullshit now it's totally up to you if you don't want to listen you don't you can you should not but tomorrow when you have to if you go for an increment if you go for a promotion and the the higher people asks you that what is that the things that you are doing differently than the junior recruiters what would be the answer that you have yes you come with so many years of experience i understand but what is that you are doing differently that's the question right now that's what i was talking about that i am going to share that don't uh, depend on reading the script anymore or whatever that makes you comfortable asking right that's how it is either the candidate listens it or whether it is important in the communication or your interaction don't forget about that and just get into asking questions question questions and all of it and when you say yes 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 and you hang up the phone and you ask for okay i'm sending my rtr and rate confirmation and reply me back with your updated resume and you hang up the phone right so that's not the way how you should do it and because there is a different way of communicate uh, conversation right and then interaction if you are submitting for c2c all the visa related and if you are submitting w2 that's those are the different people all together so either way you got to have a full clarity then you need to get into the questioning mode because those who are going who ask questions more they have the control over the call now you would say yes i am asking questions no asking questions not about just about your job requirement or visa or experience right so how i generally deal with so before i tell you how i used to deal with and don't get scared with the questions that candidate is going to ask so what questions candidate may ask that's what i'm talking about preparation pre preparation they may ask you about the rate client process right project and uh, they ask about uh, their environment they may ask you about uh, benefits right so something like that okay so these are the primary things that if candidate wants to ask if that's okay so always you got to be prepared with these things along with your requirement stuff that is the first thing now once these things are handy you are now very confident all right so what are the question you should be asking not about job anyways we are going to ask about job requirement visa and experience that's the secondary thing but you got to have a qualifying question qualification is very much important now how you are going to get into the qualification qualification question first you got to differentiate yourself because i believe i believe that being like everybody else is definitely not a success formula that's what i always share with my students that being like everybody else can only take you to some level but when you need that excessive amount of uh, success on your uh, career on the finance side you got to be differentiate you have to be if you have you have to differentiate yourself that is what i said right? you have to differentiate yourself in your uh, positioning in your approach in your pitching and in your presentation everything so when it comes to the interaction 
when it comes to the qualification during the call make sure that you differentiate yourself how when you interact i am going to give you one example here that is what is going to decide whether the person is going to continue your relationship or whether they not talk to you or what kind of uh, uh, pre assumption they, that you have created on them during your call right that's what very much important is now when you are talking if there is two people one is customer care call center so many uh, offers maybe from charity so many people may call that individual and at the same time we as a recruiter call so there is a difference there is a difference between a call for a job and a call for something selling now here we are not selling any product that is not necessary right so we are here trying to show them something that may help them to build their career around something like that so that's what the primary thing you got to differentiate yourself when you pitch rather than you are saying hey good morning could i speak with john or hi john this is so and so uh, and i'm calling from so and so company how are you doing today so that no, that you got to stop it because that's a more of a customer care sort of conversation so you have to get into the conversation right into when the phone picks up so it will be like hey john uh, this is regarding a job requirement and i got uh, your resume from dice.com are you currently looking for any opportunity now that's what comes in okay who is this and what is it about that conversation goes in or you could say if the john says uh, hello you say hey john this is about your profile that i have reviewed in dice.com and i have something interesting for you so do you have a moment to discuss that's how you get in all right there is no point sharing your name your company name your credentials your certification in the first 5 to 10 seconds don't do that hold the candidate's attention then get slowly down all right that's what i would like to teach before i get everything because if you screw it up initially the candidate will not give a time for you and moreover the timing should be for the candidate not for you anyways if the candidate is not interested there is no way that you are going to get him a job right so if the candidate is really looking something for himself or herself now you got to create that environment that yes it is going smoothly that's what the point is now first you got to differentiate yourself in uh, the way you introduce second thing goes on the questioning about what the the what the candidate is looking for what is the candidates all right current job search status and uh, how is it going and uh, new job preferences all right and you get into these details while talking to the people now if you are following a script and that is working go ahead with that i have no problem i am just sharing how i used to do it i am not at all telling you to follow this i am just sharing how you used to do it if you find it helpful absolutely use it all right how is the new job preferences what kind of job they are preferring and so and so forth then their success success stage you are going to ask meaning how many interviews completed or how many offers came in or how many uh, oral confirmation of the job or something like that that's what you are going to discuss then you get into if everything is okay then you get into the visa all right then if everything goes well then you get into the requirement all right you get into the visa and the tax term and if you are on w2 you definitely want to discuss with or without benefits all right so you need to have a clarity on the benefit part as well that's what i was talking about right but if you are not uh, clear on the benefit part then you might not able to convince the person so you need to know that if they sell or what are the benefits you are offering is it a per diem offer and so on and so forth right? then you get into the requirement then you get, when you get into the requirement you may asking wwh right where when and how many years that's what the question pattern you might need to use in there okay very good now then you come back and the skills qualification and if you are good with that then you get into your email confirmation then comes in the important part is follow up strategy all right 
so that's where the candidate will be following up with you and you will be following with the candidate so this is how the pattern you might need to use it in order to make your converse your uh, recruiter and candidate call it's a more conversation more fruitful more productive then the candidate thinks that oh what a kind of recruiter i had because he just spoiled my time you really don't want to fall in that category right very good so follow this and let me know how this video is and if you need anything else any suggestions put that in the comment box and i'm going to uh, share that with you as i see okay this video is with uh, one of our you know um, one of our uh, subscribers shared that and that's what I just wanted to share here. The comment is, and I think this is what it is. Uh, let me show you about that. Uh, 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 uh. All right, so I did not get it. Where is that I have? Uh, please continue this. Da, 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 da. Oops, I should have uh, copied that for you. All right, so. <laughs> okay, can you make a video on this and. Uh, new subscriber and yeah, there you go so this is what the subscribers request i made it all right so i hope it is going to be helpful for you very good and uh, if you have anything to share with me please share with me take care and uh, have a good time